topics covered under my presentation are introduction, concept and meaning of e-learning, pros of e-learning, cons of e-learning, and conclusion. We are born in the modernized world. We live in the modernized world and we shall live in the modernized world. Round the clock from a single pin to an elephant, we are transforming our lives into online modes. With the trend of e-commerce, the trend of e-learning has also been emerged. The chart shows the history of e-learning. E-learning is the learning that is enabled electronically through the use of internet facility by the use of electronic devices. Pros and cons of e-learning. As we all know that every coin is having two sides, a cycle runs on two wheels. Similarly, e-learning is also associated with various pros and cons. Pros. First is cost efficiency. There is no need of special space for physical classrooms. There is no need of special screen. So e-learning save cost. Wide reach anyone from anywhere from different location assess the classroom and there can be guest experts also to conduct the lectures from worldwide. It increases innovation. It is only because of e-learning that today, various small businessmen, vegetable sellers, they are using the uh, system of online payments. It is only because of the knowledge gained by them through e-learning platform. Accessibility, e-learning is accessible 24 hours and seven days by anyone at any time from anywhere. It creates the interest among students as the teachers. They teach the students through video lectures as well as through PowerPoint presentations. So it creates the pictorial and practical mind for the students. There is less absenteeism. It encourages the shy children. Online classes make the students to speak. It eliminates the barriers, various barriers related to time, schedule, location. It E-learning e eliminates all these barriers. It is environment friendly as there is no need of paper. There is less pollution as people, they don't travel because of online learning. It is a versatile nature as we all get a number of options to have lectures on any given topic. Cons of e-learning, there is lack of personal touch. There is lack of interaction. The teachers, they cannot interact with the students and students cannot interact with the teacher and the teacher, they are unable to get that are the students, they are getting their points or not? Are the students even listening or not? It is not suitable for all styles as e-learning deals with human nature and every human being is having different nature. So e-learning is not suitable for everyone for all styles. There may be technical issues. There may be network issues. There may be power issues. So e-learning suffer the problems. Next is not everyone is tech savvy, not everyone knows the technology, so it is a useless tool in the hands of an expert. Next is security issues may be there, and it is difficult for junior students to uh, grasp the things. And it is for, uh, difficult for teachers also to make the junior students to understand the point. And uh, next is the objective type assignments are there. And uh, there may be possibility that uh, students might do the assignments by way of cheating. Next is there may be health issues. Students and teachers as well, they have to spend a long time on the screen. So it may create stress among them. It may uh, create eye strain among them. Next is it increase boredom among the students among the teachers as well as it reduces the physical activity. Uh, so although e-learning is a golden spoon, but it is not an easy way to, to feed the students, specifically the junior students with such a golden spoon. Conclusion, e-learning has gained much importance in today's age. In the light of COVID-19, technology has made the platform of e-learning possible in the current scenario of COVID-19. We must appreciate that. 
it involves mul multiple benefits but there is a darker side too e learning is a substitute but it is not a perfect substitute thanks everyone thanks for watching